Is this the most depressing city in the world? Is it the ugliest city in the world? Certain media outlets and news headlines that you may have seen before will have told you that this is the case. I wanna change a few perceptions in this video and maybe show that there are some things about the city that are good about it and you may wanna visit if you come to Belgium. Today I'll be seeing the champions of Belgium play away to a team that play in this specific city here. I'll tell you a little bit more about it later in the video. We'll explore some of the most depressing and ugly parts of the most depressing and ugly city in the world and it uh, should be a fantastic video. Do hit that like button, do subscribe if you're new and I'm gonna rewind about 12 hours and see you at three in the morning. Right, so here we are in Edinburgh Airport. It's currently five o'clock in the morning. I had to get up at three o'clock um, for a really early plane. I've not been up vlogging this early since maybe Madrid or Ireland potentially. Um, but yeah, as you can see, a little bit of life going on behind me here in the airport. Today is my first ever game in Belgium. Um, we'll be seeing the Belgian champions, Club Brugge, Bruges to you and I. They actually finished second last season but ended up being champions. It's a little bit of a weird one, but I'm really excited to be ticking off another country um, to watch football in. Yeah, Belgium. I feel like people often forget about Belgium's football. It's wedged in between Germany, France and Holland, and the Netherlands. So I feel like it's forgotten about a little bit sometimes, which is a shame. But yeah, it's not forgotten about today. Um, we'll be seeing Charleroi against Club Brugge. Sorry about my pronunciation as per usual. I'll see you in Belgium very shortly. Welcome to the first ever time on this channel to Belgium. We are in, I don't know how to pronounce it, so I'm gonna to have to ask some locals when we get to the stadium a little bit later on. I will be showing you on the map just now of where it actually is. As you can see, it's just south of Brussels. Um, Brugge, or Bruges, as we say in Britain, is uh, out towards the coast. And that is who uh, Royal Sporting Charleroi, that's how I'm saying it right now, I know that's wrong, a playing club Bruges. Brugge later and Club Brugge have Simon Mignolet, a former Liverpool goalkeeper and they are the champions of course of Belgium. Despite finishing second they won a playoff to win the league. It all gets a little bit complicated but we'll talk about the football a little bit later on when we get down to the ground. But just look at this, <laughs> here is Belgium. Honestly when I was planning this trip I just thought I'll go to Germany and Holland, watch a bit of football there but the flights to Belgium were so much cheaper I was like I might as well come in and out of Belgium, do some travelling around while we're here. Look at this. We've got nice Belgian buildings, we got Belgian dogs, but I was up at 3 a.m. this morning and I've still not had my caffeine. Right, here we go, got myself a Kinder Bueno, a white Kinder Bueno muffin and a cappuccino with love written on it. Look at that, the Belgians already showing the love. So I am only here for one night and it was uh, down to a few people messaging me after the Instagram story I put up saying I was in um, Charleroi. I think that's probably how weird to say it in England, Charleroi, to be honest. But obviously there'd be a bit of a French twang to it to the people who are saying it locally. But um, yeah, so the, the title of world's most depressing city or um, world's ugliest city, which sadly this place has, came from a Dutch magazine or Dutch newspaper from around 10 years ago. They ran a poll and um, obviously Holland and Belgium being close, there's probably a little bit of rivalry between the two. I know the countries we get along as well in some instances, but um, when voting for the ugliest city, they've, uh, they've voted it as this place, which is obviously just right next to Holland. Um, but yeah, let's go and check it out properly and see why it is the ugliest city in the world. As you can see, I have um, 
come to like this little bit of a motorway here or like some sort of a main road intersection where there's a big depressing looking plant that when you look online that really does seem to be like the one thing that sort of crops up there must be another way around there i want to get a good like perspective of it and then i want to give you some information on why this town is kind of like the way it is i found a way around to get a better view of what i really wanted to see and i'm going to show you in just a second um and it didn't involve having to traverse motorways or train tracks which is good um but i want to reiterate that when I title things like the video of this video today or when I went to Fort William this video sort of reminds me of because I called that video the world's worst football team that wasn't me that was saying that that was like said about in the press and then I go to these places to try and investigate them and to try to maybe change perceptions and maybe see that this isn't the most depressing city in the world and that there are some fantastic parts about it or that Fort William aren't the worst football team in the world which actually we came to the conclusion that um, they really weren't they were, they were an amazing club and I'm sure this is an amazing city I've only been here a matter of hours they've got a quality Primark and a really nice new shopping centre which is uh, maybe part of the regeneration after um, all the news about it being the most depressing city but I've got to say the people have been so nice so far um, I've been saying bonjour and savat to people I don't really know what they're saying back at the conversation ends then I don't really know French well enough but um, yeah I, the, the people have been really really nice maybe I can change the perception of this uh, town or city through the football team as well we're gonna be going to the game later as well so we'll see how the stadium is I wonder if it will be in keeping with um the sort of more depressing structures of the city or whether it's more like the brand new shopping center which is where my hotel is actually as well the hotel's lovely novotel i didn't even realize like i say until I, I came here and posted my instagram story that it was the most depressing city um in europe or, or the world um as in some people's eyes anyway but yes here we go i'm going to show you what i came around here to see tell you what one of the first things that hits you that you won't be able to get through the vlog is the smell that's down here the smell isn't fantastic um, I will be honest I don't know what this plant does here um, but yeah I, I can see why the people of Holland maybe voted this slightly depressing I mean I kind of find beauty in this place you know me if you've seen my channel a lot and maybe you haven't maybe you're Belgian or maybe you're from uh, this town this area and again I'm not here saying it's the worst or most depressing place I find beauty in these things I've made videos at so many abandoned stadiums Wow forget this huge ugly building this is the money shot over here look at this this is honestly like a five ten minute walk from the city center it's pretty crazy look check that thing out over there I'm not quite sure if you'll be able to pick up the scale of how big this is there's like a huge crane in there with maybe some scrap metal and one of those big kind of grabbers up there as well. So why does this have such a sort of depressing reputation in the media? BBC did a really good video about um, this place calling it ugliest city in the world, question mark. Speaking about how it had been labeled the ugliest place in the world and you know, people, locals had sort of been interviewed on there about it and how it was kind of things were maybe changing a little bit. Um, but there's a fantastic article in the Brussels Times by Jules Johnston. I just want to read you out a couple of bits about this. I'll leave a link to the article down below as well. So standing on the edge of a canal surrounded by an impressive wasteland of industrial decline, it's not a particularly hard to see why uh, Charleroi um, is often considered the black sheep of Belgian cities. Founded in 1666, Charleroi is still, or Charleroi, um, sorry about my pronunciation as per usual, is still relatively young and with its 201,000 residents it can also call itself Wallonia's second biggest city. It sits on the bank of the Sombre River in the heart of the Black Country and the Black Country is a name given to this region um, due to the presence of a lot of coal mines. It goes on to say in 2008 readers of Dutch newspaper De Volks Volkskrant labelled it the ugliest city in the world, a dubious title that was swiftly picked up by several other media outlets. Now, over 10 years later, uh, the city is trying to move past that title by embracing and even promoting its urban explorer appeal. So people like me and other uh, explorers out there like to come here because it has that title. Obviously, I didn't know about the title until I got here, but a lot of people do come here for sort of some extreme tourism. And so, like I've said, it's not all doom and gloom um, for this pretty cool city. I do like the look of it. Like I say, there's, uh, you can find beauty in these 
old sort of derelict buildings or whatever, but um, it has brought tourism here. It's become quite a famous thing apparently, and like people do come here and visit purely to see those buildings I've just shown you, but also I'll overlay a few uh, clips on screen right now of the shopping centre and sort of hotel that I'm staying in, um, Novotel Hotel, um, I think it was like 80 quid a night, um, which isn't too bad, um, and there's some good shops as well um, in and around this place too, so yeah, it's like they are trying to regenerate it, rejuvenate it a little bit. So we'll see how it is in another like five, ten years, and um, hopefully there's been even more improvements. Perfect. Merci. Right, yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Can I pay my card? Couldn't come to Belgium and not have a Belgian beer, but you know how I was saying, like this area and this hotel that I'm staying in is actually really nice. You wouldn't actually expect it to be in the world's ugliest city. I'm changing these perceptions. Look, even the players of the team that we're seeing today. We're in here having a pre-match coffee, a bit of uh, food, I think, as well. I think all the squad are, like, behind me. Um, I'll see if I can get a selfie of one or two of them before I leave. Belgians, correct me if I'm wrong, but I've just Googled the strength of this beer, and it's 8.4%. I knew the beers were strong in Belgium, but it's going down a bit too quickly to be an 8.4. Right, so I did talk to the players, and here's a picture I took of them. Um, a few of the lads, they're really nice. I was just chatting to them as well um, for, a, for a minute or so, just before I asked them for a pick, and... Uh, and they were like, why are you coming to see this game? Are you coming here to see Club Bruges? Because um, they're obviously the champions. I was like, no, 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 I'm here to see uh, to see you lads. So yeah, I hope they get a win just for them. They're really, really nice. So that's the picture. I met a few of the players. And it's not often that I meet uh, players before a game, but yes, we are heading up to the stadium now. Let's see how it looks. I've got high expectations. I'm having a great time here. I will have just shown you a few clips of the stadium there. And what do you think? How does it look? Um, I think the blue roof behind me is a little bit Kilmarnock-esque. Reminds me slightly of Rugby Park, I must admit. And I see a lot of um, football stadiums through a Scottish lens. And I would say outside of Celtic and Rangers, it's probably a better kept stadium than most in Scotland, I would say. Look at it, it's really nice. World's ugliest city, not having any of that. This is brilliant. to pyro in Europe compared to like the UK and stuff which I absolutely love but a phenomenal atmosphere in here the Bruges fans over there the champions then look at the ultras this side here releasing pyro and that honestly what a match day experience this thing so far Yeah! <laughs> 
It's a goal for Club Bruges or Brugge, however it's said out here. And it's 1 all now. The champions are level. There's a hint of offside. I don't know if VAR's in this league. I imagine it is. Um, but yeah, 1 all here. Is raging. Not sure if I captured the goal on time, but it was a good goal. And it's 2 1 for the champions, Bruges now. 36 minutes into the game. Fantastic game there. Oh, Zaplin. An amazing atmosphere as well for a Friday night game. I'm here, 2-1 to the Champions Bruges. I've got myself another beer. Bring on the second half. Do you reckon I'm the only bloke who's ever checked the Air United v Dundee scores whilst watching Belgian football? The whole second half. Charleroi have been the better team. I'm so sorry for my pronunciation, but Bruges are now 3 1 up. Um, but yeah, the home team have been by far the better side in the second half. They've been the post, and now they're losing 3 1. Got it for them. They've been so good as well, the fans. But 3 1 to Bruges. So the game finished 3-1. Not really much happened after the uh, third goal for Club Bruges. They are obviously the champions of Belgium, so they were expected to win it. Um, I thought that the home team did really, really well. They played well. Um, they were probably the better team in the early stages um, and in the early stages of the second half until Bruges went and scored um, once or twice and then the game was sort of over by them. They really controlled it, but I had an incredible time. I hope we broke down a few of the stereotypes about this place um, being the ugliest city in the world. I know that is what some media outlets will lead you to believe, but I've had an amazing time. I met some incredible people. Everybody's been so nice. The football stadium was amazing. The quality of the football was amazing as well. I met the players, they were class. The, uh, the match was good as well. 3-1, four goals. You can't say fairer than that. Bit of pyro action as well pre-game. So absolutely love today. Um, if you're ever in Belgium, I recommend this place. You've got to come and check it out. It's a little bit different, a little bit unique. Um, so yeah, do come and check it out if you're ever in the area. Do hit that like button. Do subscribe if you're new. I'll leave some videos on screen. Please do click on one to carry on watching. Thank you very much, and I'll see you in the next one.